Mesa Verde National Park. What is America? America is its history. The living sap sustaining our daily lives is ever rising, rising fully into the present. But the present is fed by roots sinking deeply into the past. To understand what we are, we must first understand where we came from. As in our private lives, this holds true for our national parks. Every national park is a repository of history. From Yosemite stagecoaches, to Hawaii's native royalty, to French Canadians and voyageurs. The skies over the southeasterly pine and juniper woodlands of the state of Colorado breathes history with every gale, every gust of wind. Here stands a bastion of human history in Mesa Verde National Park. Located in the southwestern corner of Colorado, where four states touch in what is called the Four Corners, Mesa Verde National Park protects pit houses, pueblos, masonry towers, kivas, and cliff dwellings, making it one of the best preserved archaeological sites in the United States and one of its oldest mysteries. These spectral cliff cities were built by a shadowy Stone Age people, whom today's Navajo call the Anasazi, the ancient ones. Historians call them ancestral Puebloans. These migrating ancient ones settled here around the year 600 AD. Centuries earlier, their forebears made a slow but civilizing transformation from hunter-gatherers to farmers. These farming Anasazi terraced the land so as to capture the sparse rainfall and constructed primitive forms of irrigation. At first, their homes were made in pits they dug. In time, by the late 12th century, they built more elaborate dwellings atop the flat plateaus, mesas in Spanish which resemble the Pueblo dwellings of today's Hopi Native Americans. Being built on heights made them highly defensible against invaders. Houses were built under rock overhangs and in shallow caves. Interiors were plastered with adobe. These fantastical structures were clustered into villages, some with lodges of many rooms. One of their most stunning structures is Cliff Palace, with over 200 rooms. Spruce Tree House is built into a natural cave. This never completed ceremonial center, doorless and windowless, is called the Sun Temple. Kodak House is named for a researcher who absentmindedly left his Kodak camera behind. With visitors having to wend their way through tunnels and climb a 32-foot ladder makes the Balcony House tour the most adventurous in the park. They remained on this mesa for over 700 years. Then, in the 13th century, they disappeared. Why? Were they driven away by drought? By wars? Stored food and pottery hint that they had planned to return, but they never did. Whatever the reason, these ruins stand as a monument to their past and continues to this day in Pueblos across America's great Southwest. Mm -hmm.